Now that it's uh, slippery on the bottom, I can probably just, whoop, there we go. Oh, man. Welcome everybody to the sandwich show. I, I don't think I was briefed on what this is called. Sa sandwich, sandwich, sandwich artist. artist. I'll never remember that. Welcome to sandwich time with your host, Damian Haas. <laughs> Today I will be your sandwich chief and I will be crafting two of my best friends a sandwich that I made up in my early 20s when I just sort of bought whatever at the grocery store and I thought it was good and I think you will too. I, I, I wanna say I, I lived with Damien when I made we were this in early. Story. Yes, and Damien was very resourceful with cooking. Um, he would, he, I don't think he ever planned out what he was gonna cook. He would just buy ingredients and then he would be like, well, what do I make from this? <laughs> there was one time late at night where I was like, man, I really wish we had like some sort of dessert and David was like, oh, I can make you some vanilla, vanilla milk. milk. I can make some <laughs> vanilla milk. I was like, what? Hit the notification bell and subscribe if you truly love us. I am so excited. No phones on I'm sense. very excited too. Great. Yeah, we, this has got some interesting ingredients on the table. Well, don't get too ahead of yourself because we have the apron song. Apron. <laughs> Damn it! All right, uh, y'all ready for this? <laughs> so yeah, Shane, you were commenting on the weirdest of my ingredients. Uh, so what with that? Well, I just noticed. I, I believe that's a salami. It is. So I've done it a lot of different ways. Calabrese salami is something I really like to use because it's a little bit spicier. Today I'm doing the hard salami. I didn't know who I'd be cooking for, so I just wanted to be a little bit less adventurous with the, with the spice. I'm uh, I'm very excited because this kind of looks like uh, when I go get boba and they've got the pictures on the wall and I don't ever order the sandwiches from the, mm -hmm. the you know, like the boba shops. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited because I feel like this is going to be like a homemade version of that. Mm. I think it'll be good. So tell you what, why don't I get these uh, toasted up real quick? That's an easy thing to let sit and it won't be a problem. So the first uh, round we've got is called Raise and Eyebrows. God, That's awesome. Carrot. That's great. Um, share your most controversial pop culture opinion or hot take. On the quick, uh, you know, Lady Gaga, I'm not a big Lady Gaga fan. Actually, I don't really like it. If you want to find my my hardest take on it, watch Alejandro. Uh, Low-key Nazi imagery, just throwing it out there. Do you I'm think not, she's good at what it. she does? Or and you're just not a fan? Or do you mm. think like she, you're like, I don't get why people like her? I think she's good at what she does with a big asterisk because I just feel mm. like a lot of it is like, I don't know how you could perf be performative while being a performer, but that's what it feels like to me. Interesting, okay. Yeah. I like I like Lady Gaga's music, but when you know she's like, rain on me, tsunami, rain. I'm like, you're just, you wanna be Madonna. You're not Madonna. Thank you for the support then. What, what do you, do you got anything? Yeah, and mine has a huge asterisk. Um, I like the Beatles. I think they are incredible. I think they changed the face of music forever. I think even given that, they're overrated. <gasps> like if you ask a child, like, oh, we're all good. Oh. If, you ask, if you ask a child, like, who's your favorite, like, you know, I don't know what the bands are nowadays, but like people would be like, who's your favorite uh, artist? They'd be like, well, I really like Hannah Montana, the Jonas Brothers, <laughs> Hilary Duff, <laughs> oh, and the Beatles, of course. Like, it's a thing you have to say. Mm -hmm. It's a thing you have to say, as opposed to something that you're like, oh, this music started to affect me. So I think they're great. I think it's just people say it because they sort of have to. It's the same thing where it's like, oh, I love Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This isn't like a big take, but I'm just, I'm struggling to think of something. Thing. But something I was thinking about the other day is when it comes to the Oscars or just like whenever is whatever's deemed like the best performance of that year, mm -hmm. it's usually, in my opinion, not because it's like the be the best actor or actress is gonna go to whoever was in the movie that was best directed and written as well. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So it's like I feel like the best actor most years is someone like Nicolas Cage in a garbage movie, <laughs> but he somehow is still passable in it. Mm -hmm. It's not an insane fair. take, but mm -hmm. it's, just, it's, just spicy. it's a spicy, it's spicy. It's raising some it's eyebrows, whoa. Yeah. And that was the raisin ingredient. These next ones, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more timely with because uh, I'm gonna use the salami sort of going into the eggs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna maybe move you at a good clip. So what I like to do, is uh, you may notice there's no butter or fat on this table. They gave me Pam cooking spray and I embedded it into the damn wall. Um, I like to render down the fat from the salami because you're already gonna be consuming that uh, and use that to fry up the egg. So why don't I go ahead and ask Noah the first salami question. Oh. We'll go with that. Uh, this one's called the salami lid won't fit. Show us the last three TikToks you shared with a friend. Oh, this one shouldn't go to me. I don't use TikTok. Great, that's even better because we're pressed for time. It's cooking up. Uh, let me uh, find TikToks that are okay to show. Yeah, I was about to say, don't don't show the one that you <laughs> sent me this morning. <laughs> uh, oh, this one is about uh, Prince Philip dying.
Uh, he, he chews five gum. And then dies. And that's all it took. Um, here's a TikToker I really like. Um, this is from a while ago, but it's still pretty good. Can I ha um, have the pinkity drinkity with three pumps of fluffy purple guava and whipped frothing? Come here and say that to my face. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. Oh my, god. Right. my cat, Archimboldo, has a tumor. If you can give me any proof that you exist, please send me a sign. Here I am. Uh. Oh my gosh. You like that? You're God? Yeah. I'm God, baby. Mm. Is that all? Can I go? Yeah, you can go. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, no, hold on. Yeah. My cat, Arkimboldo, he has a tumor. Yeah. Could you cure him? <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna let it crisp up really nice. My goal is to have uh, the edges ever so slightly crisped up. I am so excited. I'm learning something here. What are you learning? I, uh, to put uh, the salami. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is probably enough. I'm gonna start to pull these out here. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do it in batches. I'll make the first egg based off this fat and then I'll do it again. Damien, I wholeheartedly so, believe you should do everything in your power to get on a Netflix cooking show. Here. Say that you're a renowned chef. <laughs> Let's make it a video. Let's go full makeup. You're not Damien anymore. Yeah. You should do a false identity. A full, full on like, prosthetic mask, but it, it, we, he looks still pretty much like Damien, but it's just a full mask that he's wearing over it. Yeah, why not? I'm down for that. So we got the egg cooking up. Why don't I ask the first egg question here? Frying your best. Come on. Nice. Um, what's one thing you know you're not good at, but you have absolutely no intention of trying to improve on? Something I have attempted to get better at, but I've kind of gotten to the point where I just like, I'm like, it's not gonna happen, is how I write, like how I handwrite. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is really weird and sucks. Like, okay. I write similar to like how a left, so I hold my, I, I literally write like this. Like, if I had a pencil, it oh, would, it oh, would be like. Oh, I see, are you talking about the way that you hold it? The way that I hold my pencil is so messed up. Like, you're supposed to write like this, but I, Mm -hmm. Do this. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I've always done it that way. Do you, do you put it in between your two fingers, or do you? I kind of hold it? it like that. Mm -hmm. Like I hold it incorrectly as hell. And they, when I was in elementary school, they even gave me like this specific type of thing that they put on pencils so that I would hold it right. I and I, that too. I did that for a, like years, and it's still like as soon as it came off, I my hand went back to. That's funny. Yeah. Now that it's uh, slippery on the bottom, I can probably just. There we go. Oh man. So um, I'm gonna ask you the same egg question because pretty soon, as soon as the egg's done, I really want to serve it up with the provolone on there, and that's a separate oh, question itself. I think my answer is gonna be singing. I don't. I, I've never tried to improve at singing. I enjoy singing. I enjoy doing like little fake songs, you know, for fun. Yeah. But like, I don't ever find myself actually really attempting. I don't like karaoke that much. But I think yeah. it's because like I can't sing, and I know that's not the point. But I, I guess I'm, I just haven't you know had fun. I'm bad at karaoke because I I don't listen to lyrics in songs. Mm. So I don't, whenever I could get up to sing a song, I'm like, I don't know the lyrics to this. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I literally do not know the lyrics to any song. Mm. Um, all right, so I'm blopping down some provolone so mm. I can finish up the first sandwich. Uh, and Noah, as I serve this sandwich to you, I would love to know, feeling provolonely, top five things you absolutely love to do by yourself. Oh, mm. and there's the little burst that I was talking about. Oh. Ideally, there's just a little that's, bit running. Wow. That's some gourmet there. Yeah, that's what I'm, wow. uh, some gourmet Ramsey, right? Yeah, it's a bread knife. <laughs> yeah. That looks good. Ah, man, if it were a little bit more toasted, it'd be easier to cut there, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I feel like I owe you $11. Probably, That you this me? would cost $11 in LA. Um, all right, so that's that's what the center looks like. It's a gooey, ooey breakfast sandwich. Oh Noah, my God. enjoy. What are five things you like to do by yourself? Oh my God, uh, as yeah. I'm about to eat, I, I go into the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom uh, on my own. I sure, live with sure, my sure. girlfriend, or she stays over a lot of the time, and uh, that's one thing, man. I like to close the door and have my own space. Uh, I think that's a healthy boundary to set in a relationship. <laughs> How about on a you day? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> what do I like to do alone? Man, I don't know. I like to watch, I guess, TV. I don't care. People can join in on things with me. I, Because I don't mind like being in silence with people, I feel like. Sure. Take a bite, you're killing me. All right. Yeah. I want yeah. a pot. Oh, that's all right. Ooh. Wow. Is it good? Yeah? That was really good. Hell yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you like it, man. No problem. You fed me. Make this for your girlfriend. Hey, do the Benny Hanna thing. Throw a salami in my asshole. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what do you enjoy to do alone? Oh, man. 
That's a great question. I've, I've, I've got an answer in the chamber ready to go. I really like fully occupying, like I'm an overthinker, so I really like fully occupying my brain as much as possible. So I'll pick a new video game and like a new show or like a new podcast or a new something, but I'll have two things going at once. And it's just a very like almost meditative thing where I'm just by myself chilling. Something though that I was doing this year, uh, I haven't done it in a second, but is like making bread is really fun because yeah, it's time you consuming. Yeah, you really good at that. Uh, it takes a long time, so like if you start making the dough, you gotta let it sit for an hour, then you come back to it, then you let it sit for another hour. So watching a TV show or movie while doing that, so dope. I have spent, I, I spend, all my time by myself doing nothing mm -hmm. for this past mm -hmm. year that I'm like, I've run out of everything. Hey, what's yeah. that like? I've never, I've never in my life craved like just going out and doing stuff more than now. Mm -hmm. Like in 2019, I was always like, I would be out with friends, but I was always like, man, I can't wait to mm -hmm. get a mm -hmm. chance by myself to watch a TV show or whatever. And now yep. I'm like, I just want to go, I'll, I'll go to a club. I'll go do anything. Yeah. yeah. I'll go to a club. I'm the same way there. Yeah. Yo, I, I, combine the frying and the egg question. I'm so sorry. So the frying question we got through, it's, you know, what are you not good at that you're not gonna improve at? I don't think I actually answered that either. Mm. Uh, the problem is the second part, because I strive for excellence in all I do. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. <laughs> obviously. I, I'm a procrastinator, and I always get things done, but I don't foresee myself changing the procrastination thing. I think I work best when putting myself under some pressure. Mm -hmm. So I'm not good at keeping to that schedule that I should keep to. Yeah, this is really good. I'm really glad, man, enjoy This is like enjoyable. I'm so I'm gonna glad, that makes me recreate happy. recreate this, I don't know, the cinnamon raisin bagel is surprisingly really effective. It's a weird one, isn't it? But I don't see myself buying the bagel for some reason, because I'm only gonna use it when I make this, but maybe I'll just make this enough for that Well, there's six to a package. If you make one for you and one for your girlfriend, she stays over a couple days, you've got most of it, and you can freeze the other bagels. I think like a, freeze thick, a, bagel? a, thick, a thick bread would also be good mm -hmm. for this. Um, oh, this one even turned out better in terms of the look. Yeah, mm -hmm. look at that. Look at that, that looks good. Hell yes. It's from a boy Shane. Okay, here we go. Mm hmm. 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 It's really good. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's really I'm glad good. you like it. I could have made it for you along with vanilla milk back in the day. I but know. But you know, it's been wow. a long time coming. Now I know what I was missing out on. You really were the whole time. The egg question. Mm. What is the best idea you ever had, but you were too embarrassed to share it? It's called excellent idea. See, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if this question is for me. The ideas in my brain, they tickle me so much. In the, the positive tickle. Mm -hmm. Let me use tickle positively. Is that a thing? Can I positively use tickle? I'm uh, sure. Okay. Uh, they tickle my brain so much that I truthfully believe in my own head that if I said them out loud, someone listening would take them. That's how good I believe they are. That's my fear too. Yeah. I know that's a ridiculous belief. I'm sorry. I spend my nights thinking about like brand new security equipment and like like I can never make this technology. Listen, you know in movies when they when they go and they hack the little computer, right? Yeah. And it's a movie. That's not real. It's what the guy says when he's in the vein. He's like, I'm hacking the little computer. Right? I Actually, I didn't develop the technology the at all. In my brain, I came up with the idea. You came up with the theoretical, the it. theoretical yeah. software. Yeah. You're like, we should make a software that no one can hack. And yeah. that was the idea. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The idea, the idea is more so like you know how you can generate a random code. How do you generate a random code, but in a video that you're actively watching? Um, my favorite thing is whenever I, I think I'm like I'm like oh I have this story idea mm -hmm. and it's yeah. incredible and I think it all the way through and I think of all these details and then I realize I just have thought the entire plot line of Wally. -E. <laughs> 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 like uh, that's happened several times where I've been like oh my god this story idea. And I think about I think about it all the way through, and then I'm just like, oh, that's just that one movie. <laughs> yeah. I was just remembering that one movie that yeah. I watched. You all, are such a creative of... person, and I always felt bad if I was ever the one where you're like, I have this totally idea. Because you don't do it as much anymore, but you still like tell me you're like, dude, I came up with an idea, and we I'd listen to you for like 30 minutes, just be excited about this thing, and I loved it. All your ideas at the end were like, and then they're 400 pounds, and they got these chairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you zoom out, and they're all fish. And then um, it says the end, and then a question mark pops up. Fade to white. Second movie starts. <laughs> <laughs> what, you you just lie about the runtime. No one knows they're in a double feature. Exactly. That would be innovative. Come on. What? Wait. What? Uh, answer. Answer the frying question. Is the question? Oh man. Clear? See, I'm kind of like you, Noah. Like I'm afraid someone's gonna take it. I do have a screenplay for a B movie I want to make called. <laughs> 
<laughs> so bleep out it. all of this. Bleep out all of this. Actually bleep that. Please bleep that. Yeah, I want to. Please uh, bleep that. No, you want to invest? Uh, invest? If I had six guy? million oh, dollars, I want you to know that I would offer you a, a million dollar budget. To my make. guy, I got to be honest with you. I don't think this is the kind of movie that's better with a high budget. If that's you got fair. forty bucks, I'm gonna make you a producer. Uh, <laughs> listen, you should talk to Blumhouse. Blumhouse. Bloomhouse, yeah. Yeah. Or I don't know how uh, it's pronounced, but it's yeah. Lumpkin. Yeah. One of those houses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm oh eating a delicious sandwich. Thank you so much for having me to make my breakfast. I don't, I don't have a name for it. You guys name it in the comments. I would love to see what your names are for this. <laughs> don't call it delicious vanilla milk. That's already taken by a drink I made up. This is good. Whoa. It needs more sweetness. Going forward, I think I would add that in. It depends on the bagel brand, I think, but I would maybe add some maple syrup to the salami. Have it cooked See, down with that. Wow. My my only criticism is I'm someone that I, I wanted it to be saltier. Mm -hmm. I think salt. I would have preferred, I think if this was a regular bagel, I would have liked this even more. It needs salt for sure. But I'm also, I'm biased against, I'm not a big fan of like sweet, like, like sweet pork and stuff I don't like. I mm. always prefer like the saltier. Mm -hmm. Or whenever it's like maple bacon, I'm not a big fan of maple bacon. I've always, I'm like, I want regular bacon. Mm -hmm. You got this, mother <laughs> It's free. <laughs> You're welcome for the free meal. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Thank you for joining us. If you want us to keep doing this, please tell us in the comments below. If you don't want us to keep doing this, keep it to yourself. Be polite. Oh. It, doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything to be sweet. Everybody please go follow Shane and Noah. I forget what we do at the end. L click on these videos. <laughs> it's a good sandwich. It does need salt. What kind of sandwich would you make? A knuckle sandwich? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments. Hey, I'm gonna give you some of this. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some of this. <laughs>